Hi, welcome to Books with Laura. We're doing something a little bit different today and we're looking at workbooks. This is a summer brain quest book and this one is getting ready for third grade for adventures between grades two and three, but they have them for every grade and for the summer in between every grade. Now, I really liked this book, especially uh, when we're going through a lot of so, um, like the distance learning. This is a great book to have because it's basically all of the standards that your kids should know in second, they should have learned in second grade and things that'll help them into third grade or whatever grade they're going into. And it's all condensed into one book. And it's just over 100 activities. It comes with a map that your kids can hang up and then it comes with stickers. And my son loved to, after he was done with an activity, he'd love to take it, uh, take the sticker off and put it on his map. So as I was saying with distance learning, um, this, these might be a good, uh, good books to invest in for your kids. As you can see, they're really colorful. This one was geared around like space and aliens. So a lot of the, um, a lot of the information and a lot of the illustrations all had to do with outer space and aliens. So this is where in the world fill in the missing commas in each sentence. And this had to do with like aliens. Level one is complete. And then you go on to level two. And they had different ways of presenting the uh, information. So like this one was a word search. Label the events. And what I did for my son was we looked at brain pop videos or on YouTube to find, um, to kind of go over the information first. And then we went through and did the work together. So this is great to have to make sure that your kids are on top of things before they go back to school. As I said, with distance learning, I think that was difficult for everybody. We ended up doing a lot of this work when we were in quarantine for two weeks at a hotel. Um, and some of it is, he just loved it. Like this is space adventure camp. Compare the number of seconds each camper took to build a robot in a low gravity simulator. So this, the illustrations were really engaging. Um, look at how cute. And this is measuring rockets. Um, the book came with the paper ruler that we cut out. And as you can see here, like this one had to do with economics, this had to do with telling time. So it really uh, went over all of the standards for um, second graders going into third grade. What's also interesting is that it has brain boxes at the bottom to kind of give them um, an idea or like a refresher of what an adjective is in this case. So here's a spy strategy. An alien spy is trying to trick you into opening the door to your spaceship. The problem is he doesn't know English very well. Choose the correct plural noun to complete each sentence. And then you know the topic that they're talking about is irregular plural nouns. This is objects and their parts. Draw and write how you can disassemble the objects and use the materials to solve each problem. This is um, addition and subtraction. This is a math riddle, so he had to do all of these math problems. And then why didn't the astronaut take a vacation? He forgot to plan it. <laughs> There's more, uh, more math over there. This is butterfly life cycles. So um, if I saw that my son was um, having some trouble with anything, then I knew that I would have to find more work that would reinforce anything that he was having an issue with or we would watch another YouTube video or brain pop so I can make sure that he grasped it before we moved on. This is draw a line to match each word problem to the correct equation. Yes, and as the book progresses, it does get more difficult. Here's seed dispersal and pollination. This is about 3D shapes. Color each planet with a face that is a square pink. Color each planet with a face that is a pentagon red. Legends of the Milky Way. So it had different legends. 
Um, and then he had to answer these questions. I wrote them out for him because sometimes he was lazy. Uh, this is about reversible and irreversible changes. Here's some fractions. Uh, this is some reading comprehension of Paul Bunyan. Here's rows and columns and arrays and things like that, equal groups. So I don't know, I feel like one of the big things about workbooks that we sometimes get wrong is we think we could just give the kids a workbook and walk away and expect them to just work on it. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they need you to sit with them. And of course, we'd prefer sometimes to not, but I think really working with kids and asking them those engaging questions, I think that would be, um, I think that was definitely what helped us with this book. So this is the end and it asks, how was your summer? And then these are outside quests as well that we didn't do because we were in China. But anyways, <laughs> so um, they do have different activities that you can do with your kids. And then in the back is the answer key. They also have, um, this was where the ruler was. They also have uh, fiction that the kids can read. We did not do that, but it says date started, date finished, and my review. That just has some examples of books that they can read, fiction and nonfiction. Um, they also had a mini deck of the uh, brain quests, and there was paper, and we cut it out. And then here's where all the stickers were. So I love these books. I already bought him the next one for between third and fourth grade. I bought it off of, uh, I think I bought it at Target. Uh, it was on sale. I think it was 10 bucks, but I'll look on Amazon and put the link below. Thanks for watching.